I'm gonna drop a bomb right here. Um, here, lady, have my bomb. There you go. Drop it. Play with that. <laughs> oh wait, where'd you go? Oh, you sneaky devil. Hey guys and gals, welcome to the Swords of Ditto. This is on Steam right now. You can buy it for, I think it's $19.99, but it won't be released until April 24th. I'm recording this on the, what is today, the 19th. So yeah, I received a copy of this from the developer, uh, rather the publisher, Devolver Digital, and uh, to share it here on the channel. So that's what we're going to do. Um, it is for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and PS4, and like I said, it will be out on the 24th. Single player, multiplayer, and co-op, and I will, of course, put a link down below in the description to the Steam Store page so you can check it out for yourself. Who's that little feller? Hi. Uh, so yeah, let's jump in and play. I haven't done anything with it other than make a few adjustments to the options, but uh, let's read about it here. It's a compact action RPG that creates a unique adventure for each new hero of legend in the relentless fight against the evil... Mormo, explore delightful but dangerous overworld, brave menacing dungeons, and improve your hero in a charming village. During your quest to overcome the evil that plagues this island, uh, yes, unleash the mystical sword of Ditto and grab a co-op friend for an unforgettable adventure filled with delightful characters. All right, whatever. It's a little RPG. I guess it's like Zelda or something. So let's go. New story. Uh, we got several modes here to choose from. These are difficulty modes, apparently. Why don't we go with the regular mode? I'm a regular dude. Wake up! Wake up! Hey, Sleeping Beauty, wake up! I guess I can just click on the A. Oh no! I'm a castaway again! Cool, actually. I like being a castaway. Oh, seagull over there. Don't tell me we've fallen at the first hurdle. Oh, here we go. Ooh! Hi! Help me up, would you? Maybe if I just pinch his nose. Yeah, go ahead. Pinch my nose. I'm alright. I'm alright. Uh, what's your name, fella? Nothing like a lack of oxygen to bring a person to their senses. Anyway, morning, sleepyhead. Nice of you to join us. I'm just trying to get into character here. Okay, first things first. We've got to get you kitted out with a sword. See that glow and light? Follow it. Uh, glow and light. Follow it. Now, how do I move? I'm getting ahead of myself again, aren't I? First time nerves. There's a lot to go through, so it's probably better if I explain as we go. Oh, guess I should introduce myself. The name's Puku. Nice to meet you. Now, let's get to the town. Wait a minute. I didn't even do anything yet. How do I, oh, there's a sword over there. How do I move? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm using WASD. WASD's not working. Oh, dang it. So now I gotta slide over. Hold on. I should probably play this with a controller. I don't have one plugged in right now. This is awkward. Very, very awkward, but I, I will follow the sword. You know, developers, really, you should add a WASD option to find keyboard. Oh, here we go. Oh, never mind. We got this. We got this. You can you can set up WASD. Okay, we're back. Yay, WASD's working. Now I lost the sword. There it is. I'm just going to follow the sword because that's what it said to do, but I'd like to go into that cave and stuff, but let's just um, let's follow the tutorial here. Tutorial sword. Oh, look at all this stuff. Ah, don't get sidetracked. Don't get sidetracked, little fella. Gotta get to town. Oh, look at that. Statue. Some great hero. Detoiling. Okay. Puku says, This is the main town on the island, but we'll have plenty of time for a tour later. For now, let's head to the statue. Okay. Lead the way, Puku. Oh, someone's coming. Should I stop and chat? Do we have time to stop and chat? I think I do. Hi. Action. R. It's Eva. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to ignore you. I'm just a bit preoccupied about something. My gramps always used to say that if you heard loud clanks and bangs from underground, then that meant Mormo was about to return. Last night I heard this huge clunking sound coming from under my house. It couldn't be. Could, could it? Uh, you might want to get that checked. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Follow that sword. Although I do want to talk to everyone. Oh, the Ditto Mart. Should I go to the Ditto Mart? No, let's just go around for now. Sword seems impatient. Hello, everybody. I'm new in town. Hi, fella. Be right back, okay? I'm not ignoring you. i got to follow the sword. Whoa. All right, here we are. Click on the thing. All right. 
I'm reading the, um... Oh! No, I'm not. I'm getting dressed. As you grasp the sword, you feel a mystic power coursing through your veins, imbuing the strength of your four beers. You have become the Sword of Ditto! <laughs> I always knew it. I always knew I was special. Puku. Ta-da! Look at you, standing there all sparkly and heroic. Guess it's time I explained a few things, huh? Ditto is under a curse, see? Every hundred years, the wicked witch Mormo rises to spread her evil influence across the land. Now, unopposed evil is kind of unfair, so a hero, the sort of Ditto, ri also rises to fight Mormo and stop her schemes. Hint, that's you. I guess that's a pretty big ask, seeing as you just washed up here and all, but I don't write the rules and there's no complaints department. <laughs> You want to know what's so bad about Mormo? Well, it's a bit off script, but why don't I show you? Beat's having to listen to me some more, right? Come on, her palace is this way. Ooh. All right, let's go to the palace. Follow the sword. And look at all the people here. Hi, birdie! And look at me! All right, let me just try my attack here. Ooh, man. Can I do a right mouse button attack? Because that would make total sense. Hold on. No can do. No can do. You can't assign the right mouse button for some weird reason. Just the keyboard. Oh, wow. This is her palace? What are those things? Look at all these creeps. Guess they know their ooky spooky master's about to return. Let's check the tower. See if anything started yet. But be careful. It'd look real bad if you died at the first challenge. <laughs> yes, it would. I'll try not to embarrass you. Mormo Palace level one. So hold on a second. I want to show you something. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Oh, here's the map. We have a bag. This must be my inventory. Ancient bow. We got a torch and some bums. I don't know how to use them all, but I guess we'll figure that out. We got stickers that I guess you can collect and put on your body and some quests and a menu. Now, I'm kind of curious how to use these on the PC. Maybe my keyboard. Oh, okay, I can switch to those items in the keyboard. One is the bow. Ah, toy, That's those are the toys, I see. <laughs> okay, so toy you shoot with a C. I'm gonna change that to K, which is on my mouse. The mouse button, let's go to my toy and make that a K, map to K, okay. Sorry about this, guys. I literally didn't play anything. I uh, didn't play it at all. Just started recording. So, all right, there we go. Yeah, I can shoot it now. All right, I'm following you. I'm following you, dude. Lead on. Lead on. Let's try some bombs. Yeah, bombs away. We'll throw it. Throw it. Oh, my gosh. I dropped it. Okay. You don't throw it. You drop it. <laughs> Excellent. That's good to know. See, so learn from my mistakes. Oh, you can aim the bow, too. Try to hit the enemy, though. There we go. Splat. Get splat. Um, oh. I'm going to try to swing. Yeah, I really just wish they used the mouse controls. Because I am a PC guy, so. That's going to be my main gr gripe. But, oh, and see, I can't seem to turn it once I, once you pull the bow back. You can't re-aim. Interesting. Interesting. Critical hit. All right, I'm just going to go whack this guy. It doesn't seem very interested in me. Wham, wham. Oh, and I can roll. Oh, roll right into him. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> Space bars roll. Oh, man. Once you commit to one direction, that's it. You're going in that direction. Okay. Well, it's a little awkward for me because I'm not using a controller, but we'll figure it out. All right. Looks like we have one more. <laughs> looks like you can use the arrows to aim. Which, whoops. Hold up. Something's happening. Oh, somebody coming? Oh, now you shoot. Nice one. I was about to say, yeah, you can bring up your bow and then um, turn it with the uh, WASD keys or arrow keys, whatever you happen to be using. All right. Okay, let's move on. I guess we're going in. Open up. Ow. Ooh. Skull and bones. Uh, but it looks like maybe some treasure here. Can I pick that up? Oh, yes, I can. But what can I do with it? I want it. Take it. Oh, I can throw it. All right. Let's pick it up. And let's throw it at something. This must be the, the lady's throne room. I think maybe I have to uh, do something here. Skulls? Put the skulls down. Maybe go out and grab another skull. Can I pick up bones? I 
Cannot pick up bones. Oh, I gotta just pass through. Never mind. I thought it was some kind of crazy puzzle. <laughs> it wasn't. All right, I gotta kill a creep. Mm. Mm. And it looks like I can wreck those skulls too. Hi, who are you? Oh, you're making the things? Oh man. All right, we gotta get we gotta get rid of that thing. So <laughs> let's switch to bombs. I'm gonna drop a bomb right here. Um, here, lady, have my bomb. There you go. Drop it. Play with that. <laughs> oh wait, where'd you go? Oh, you sneaky devil! You disappeared on me. Oh no, run! Run! Ditto, whatever your name is. You. It's a lot of goo. Bombs away! Go play. I didn't really mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, if I continue with this game, I'm clearly gonna have to get my controller set up. This is a little silly. Little silly. I'll just go in. I kill your mama. Get lost. Can I pick stuff up here? Nope. Alright, sword, I'm right behind you. Keep moving. And follow. Oh, gosh, what's going on? More enemies. These guys are pretty easy to defeat. They don't seem to be putting up much of a fight, to be honest. Oh! And do I have a health bar? Oh, no. Another mama. Kill it. Kill it before it spreads. There you go. Oh, you dirty little. <laughs> Got you this time. Get out of the way. All right. Next. Super annoying. Super annoying with this bow and aiming, but we got that one. Yay! And I think I can get this one. Yeah, walk into it. Thank you! Ooh, man, that bow does some serious damage. All right, let's move on. All right, we got the spore thing over here. Let me see if I can just shoot it. Yeah, I keep wrecking it straight away. Easy. Oh, you. Come on, peekaboo! We got one more off, but now you're dead. Critical hit and wrecked. Now, I don't know if any of this stuff is useful here or not. Just looks like a bunch of detritus. Let's go follow the sword. All right, what is this then? Oh, more of these things, okay. No problem, getting better with my mouse finally here. Just took a little time. A little better, but not great. <laughs> it's very slow to turn, but there we go. All right, keep pushing forward. Now what? Now what? Oh, who's that guy? Hi. Catch. Sorry. <laughs> he doesn't know how to play my catch game. Now, I'm just running right through following the sword. I don't know if any of this stuff is going to have... Useful items or things I can use inside. Maybe I should take the time to whack them. Doesn't look like it though. Like you'd think maybe these faces have money or stickers or something. Moving on. Right, more of these little stinkers. Oh, oh, there's something right in the way. Duh. And a little blue guy. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Woo! Woo! He's got like a helmet. Ah! Oh, you. Rolling. Rolling. And rolling. Yeah, I don't know how to kill this guy. Yeah, oh, here he comes. Oh, wow. Ow, that hurt. Uh, I'm running. I'm running. Can I just leave? Yes. <laughs> My arrows didn't seem to do any damage to that guy. So, running is the better part of Valor, right? Puko! Fancy meeting you here. Ah, blast it. You'll need to light these things to get past the doors. All right, then. Have you got anything on you that can start a fire? Yes, I have a torch. Use your torch. Yep. You can open your bag. Yep. Right. And that's number three. Torch it. Torch it. There we go. Torch that one up. Fantastic. That unlocked the door. Let's go. Whew. This looks like a puzzle. Hello. Just passing through, ma'am. Puku, distract her while I run away. <laughs> it's Mormo. Ah, I should have known it was you, Puku. One can only hold off the vermin for so long, after all. Yeah, well, uh, it takes one to know one. 
Ah, shoot. Should have prepared something better than that. Well now, Puku, what are you doing bringing the sword here so early? According to my curse clock, we still have four days until I kill them in the fated battle. No? Yes, you. You must be Puku's latest little toy. Charmed, I'm sure. I do hope there's... She's explained just what you've signed up for. Not exactly. I don't much like toys, you see. I find them a distraction. They bring people joy. Levity, hope. These are not values I wish to be cultivated in my idiot flock. So I will make an example of you, young one. I will unthread every seam holding you together. I will rip your little button eyes off your head. I will pull out every inch of stuffing and scatter it far and wide so that all may know what becomes of hope. That doesn't seem very nice. Wait, you're a toy? Whoa, this is definitely the first time a toy has ever been the sort of ditto. <laughs> of course he isn't a toy. It's a metaphor, you insect brain. Deep breath in and out, in and out. Seeing as you're already here, why don't I just nip this in the bud now and save time for everyone? My apologies, sword. It's nothing personal. Okay. Ow! Ooh! Wow! Didn't see that coming. Hey, no fair! The sword falls. Oh, gosh. Well, game over. And lo, did the sword fall to the ground, dulled and light and blade. Like so many before and so many to come. With her resurrection unopposed, Momo spread her tendrils of darkness across the land. The people bowed their heads in fear, praying that the sword may one day be reborn to them. Okay, so that was just an intro. That wasn't us. A hundred years later, just as the last embers of hope were dying. Okay, we got a new body here. We've been resurrected. Ooh, 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 man, I should be a creepy disembodied voice more often. Anyway, right, hello, it's time for us to go. A hundred years I've been waiting to get another go at Mormo. So let's skedaddle. All right, so I guess uh, we're a new person now. With very large ears. Are those ears? Is it here? I, I don't know. All right, uh... So, I guess we're going to start here. This is where the game begins. What can I actually do around here? Anything? Is this my house? Where is Puku? Um, let's go outside, I guess. Is this the door? There you are. It's so gross out here nowadays. Amazing what Momo can do to a place in a century. What? You have no idea who I am or what you're doing? Fine, I'll give you a quick intro. Ready? Oh my gosh, so they're gonna go through the whole thing over again. All right, so that was mainly just a tutorial to give you an idea of uh, how the controls work and stuff, I guess, right? So yeah, let's just get through this. Graveyard, yada, 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 yada. And what is this? Then? Pretty sure something just scuttled around in there. Let's leave it forever. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now we're talking. We're in the coinage. Sword wants me to go that way. Um, but I think, I think we're gonna just call it quits. How do I get over there? I gotta go down here. Can I go down here? Cross through the water? Yep. Because I think we've, you guys have seen enough of Sword of Ditto, at least in this episode, and I'm kind of out of time. If you want to see more, I will continue with this, um, new character. And, uh, yeah, we'll get a little farther if you want to see more, and maybe you can't decide if it's something that you want to buy, but... The link is down below in the description. Uh, 1999 Windows, Mac, and Linux. Single player, multiplayer, and co-op. You can buy it. Oh, something's happening. You can buy it now, and it will unlock on the 24th of April. So just uh, a week from uh, just next week sometime. All right, Puka, what's up? Looks like it's time for breakfast. Get some stuff. Okay. Yeah, so with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits right here. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. But wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Let me grab that. Okay. Round two, Mormo. We're coming for you. This time, I'm a blonde. As you take the sword from the grave, you feel a mystic power coursing through your veins, imbuing the strength of your forebearers. You have become the sort of <laughs> deja vu. Maybe not for you, but for me, lady. Achievement unlocked. Pay respects. Ta-da! We finally have our sort of ditto. Alrighty then. Our surroundings might give it away, but the last one didn't go so well. Still, mean, still means it'll be hard for you to do worse. 
Something I might not have mentioned is that we only got a few days to prepare before you have to face more mo. Four days to be precise. Alright. Yep. Blop, 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 blop. Still talking. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And there we go. Four days until the showdown. So, like I said in the beginning, it's a compact action RPG. So I guess we have literally four days, like four in-game days to complete this quest. Um, yeah, we're going to stop right here. Like I said, I've got enough footage for you guys to uh, make up your mind, I suppose. Or if you want to see more, let me know and I'll play the actual game. Because <laughs> all that was just the intro. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye-bye.